In today's show, Bitcoin bull market still halfway after $30,000 Bitcoin price crash destroys leverage. As shared by a statistician, Willie Wu, he says this week's price dip turned to be a win for the hodlers in this very detailed market update. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also, as William Clemente points out, goodbye leverage as leverage traders got absolutely wrecked just recently. And as Mira Cristanto points out, that cleanse set Bitcoin up for $100,000, funding rates largely reset, the shakeout before the breakout, let's go BTC. Vitalik says that crypto is in a bubble and that Bitcoin may get left behind due to its power usage. That's right, he believes there's a possibility Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin in the future. And in a new CNN interview, he shares, we've had at least three of these big crypto bubbles so far and added that it could have ended already or it could end months from now. I'll be breaking this down for you. Also in today's show is the Bitcoin top in. Crypto analyst Nicholas Merton predicts Bitcoin's long-term trajectory and shares in this tweet that he's buying the dip. Also in today's show, Plan B doubles down on his huge Bitcoin price prediction. Despite the recent collapse to $30,000, he shares in this this tweet, just to be clear, I do not think $60,000 was the top. Far from it, because I do not see this kind of transactions that normally happen after an all-time high. In fact, I think we are just a couple of months out of the bear market. And yes, this on-chain view fits Stock the Flow X model, which predicts a $288,000 Bitcoin price before the end of this year. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin back in the green, Ethereum, and a lot of the major altcoins in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Here's where you can put your crypto to work. They're paying out a 5% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin, so you can literally have your Satoshis work for you. They're also paying out a 10% annual percentage yield on stable coins, and they are backed by the biggest names in the industry, including Winklevoss, Fidelity, Morgan Creek, and Coinbase. And they have a special promo running right now where you can receive up to a 200 $50 crypto bonus with a deposit of $100 or more. To take advantage of this, use my referral link in the description. Once you click it, it'll take you here and you'll notice a referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to cover, so let's just dive right in. Bitcoin is still halfway through its current bull market, and this week's price dip turned out to be a win for the hodlers, according to on-chain analyst and statistician Willie Wu. In his latest edition of his market updates, which he made publicly available on crypto Twitter, he outlined multiple factors which suggest that the Bitcoin price is anything but bearish right now. That's right, Bitcoin slash USD recovered strongly after hitting lows of $30,000 on Wednesday, preserving its gains after the sharpest recovery in Bitcoin history. Are we in a bull market? Long range macro indicators like the NVT ratio are very healthy. That remains unchanged, says Willy Wu. So yes, this is not a mania top, which all BTC bull markets end in. Price is below fundamentals, not above it. We are still halfway. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Willy Wu. NVT or network value to transaction ratio is a popular metric, which aims at identifying profitability amongst hodlers. As Cointelegraph reported earlier this week, even before the dip, the NVT was signaling a buying opportunity at price levels at around $42,000. NVT price, which Wu calls an organic valuation of Bitcoin, still lies at $55,000, which along with the stock to flow based projections of $60,000 suggests that Bitcoin slash USD is considerably undervalued. Bitcoin may already have the tools it needs to regain its lost ground thanks to a shakeout of leveraged traders and the now muted effects on Elon's tweeting negative comments, which we all know is FUD. In fact, the dip may have been just what Bitcoin needed. Newish whales dumped out, retail bought a chunk of the dips, coins getting more distributed. I'll take that as a win, Willy Woo noted, and notably a sharp drop to 30,000 resulted in Bitcoin funding rates flipping negative across the board to record lows, which could provide fuel for a massive 
short squeeze. Checking out this tweet from Masari analyst Mira Cristanto. That cleanse that Bitcoin up for $100,000. Funding rates largely reset. The shakeout before the breakout. I couldn't agree more, but let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. On the topic of a trader shakeout, fresh data from Glassnode shows how much leverage was flushed from the market on the $30,000 and back to $40,000 price climb. Crazy witnessing $10,000 dips and climbs in a single day. Checking out this tweet from analyst William Clemente, goodbye leverage. And he's right, that was a massive shakeout and all leverage traders were definitely affected. And for new buyers entering the space, Blockstream CEO Adam Back, meanwhile, had some cautionary words. Thoughts on leverage? Don't. He summarized in a series of tweets, better just hodl, DCA, cold storage. If you're going to use leverage for fun slash profit, you're increasing a risk a lot. Do it with max 10% of coins or less. Never place the leverage trade without a limit stop or implicit stop from small position liquidation. Wise words from Adam Back. And to check out this entire market update from Willy Woo, check out the show notes below the video in the description. Definitely a good read. And before I break down our next story of the day, Vitalik Buterin says crypto is a bubble and that Bitcoin may get left behind due to its power usage as well as is the Bitcoin top in well crypto analyst Nicholas Merton predicts Bitcoin's long-term trajectory as well as plan B doubles down on his huge Bitcoin price prediction despite the recent collapse to $30,000 but first let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market we can see Bitcoin recovering nicely up 2% for the day trading just under $41,000 we have Ethereum up 2% as well trading above 2700 everything is back in the red talk about massive volatility we have Dogecoin down 5% trading under 40 cents and Binance coin down 3% trading at $383. Now let's break down our next story of the day. Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin, who recently became a crypto billionaire, but not anymore due to the recent price crash, thinks crypto is in a bubble and that the energy debate swirling around Bitcoin mining requires it to embrace technological change. Buterin spoke with CNN on Tuesday and noted that we've had at least three of these big crypto bubbles so far and added that it could have ended already or it could end months from now. To check out this interview, check out the show notes below the video. And now I'll give you some of the highlights. The 27-year-old didn't comment on whether the recent crash, which sent Bitcoin down to 30,000, was an indicator of the crypto bubble ending, but he did share. Often enough, the reason the bubbles end up stopping is because some event happens that just makes it clear that the technology isn't there yet. One factor for the Bitcoin price crash was Elon's FUD, announcing that he would no longer accept Bitcoin as a form of payment for Teslas due to the power usage, when we all know the legacy banking system uses way more energy consumption than Bitcoin, as well as gold uses more energy consumption than BTC. That's why we know it's FUD at the end of the day. But he says that Bitcoin may get left behind. I disagree, but it's interesting nonetheless to share his perspective. He shared with CNN that energy concerns over Bitcoin's proof of work mining are justified, quoting him here. The resource consumption is definitely huge. It's not the sort of thing that's going to break the world by itself, but it's definitely a significant downside. Ethereum is in the process of moving from proof of work to proof of stake or POS consumption census algorithm through the forthcoming transition to ETH 2.0. It will dramatically decrease Ethereum's energy consumption, with Nimbus estimating proof of stake to be up to 99% more energy efficient. Buterin emphasized the importance of transitioning, noting that we go from consuming the same energy as a medium-sized country to consuming the same energy as a village. Buterin added that the power consumption of Bitcoin mining and the hardware required would see increasing calls from its community to either switch to proof of stake or move towards a hybrid, quoting him again from this interview. If Bitcoin sticks with its technology exactly as it is today, there is a big risk that it will get left behind. While that call will undoubtedly be controversial, Bitcoiners may welcome Buterin's assessment of Musk's Twitter antics. He noted that this is relatively a new phenomenon in the crypto space and Elon's influence will wane over time. I think it's reasonable to expect a bit of craziness, he said, but I do think that the markets will learn. Elon is not going to have this influence forever. I agree 100%. Elon is nothing more than a puppet at the end of the day, working for the central bank, in my opinion. And before I break down our next story of the day, is the Bitcoin top in? Crypto analyst Nicholas Merton predicts Bitcoin's long-term trajectory, as well as Plan B doubles down on his huge Bitcoin price prediction despite the recent collapse to 30000 But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just under $1.8 trillion, with $218 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, and current Bitcoin dominance back on the climb at 43%, with the Ether dominance at 17.9%, and the current Bitcoin market cap just above $770 billion with the Ethereum market cap just under $320 billion. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Monero up 31%, trading at $315. Helium up almost 29%, trading at $15.65. ANKR 
Bar up 24%, trading just under 14 cents. Telcoin up 18.5%, trading at 3.6 cents. And Sia Coin up almost 17%, trading at 2 cents. Now checking out the top losers within the top 100. We have Waves down 9.5%, trading at 24 bucks. Polygon down 6%, trading at $1.77. Shiba down 5%. And Internet Computer down 3%, trading at $175. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on during this bull run? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators. Indicators. This is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 19 in extreme fear. Yesterday was an 11 in extreme fear, which is as low as I've seen it in a very long time. Last week, a 26 in fear. And last month, a 73 in greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Crypto analysts and trader Nicholas Merton is analyzing Bitcoin's long-term price trajectory. He tells his 453,000 YouTube subscribers that Bitcoin is now pressing up on a well-established resistance level, and he's looking to buy the dip, as he shared in this tweet, waiting for some Celsius loans to process so I can buy the dip. What are you doing during this dip? BTFD, buy that freaking dip all day. Just saying, he goes on to share, it does hold significance and no wonder Bitcoin is facing some resistance. Again, we pressed this since March during this time period, but we talked about this and it's not a terrible thing. As for Bitcoin's current market trend, the Data Dash founder believes that Bitcoin is consolidating in preparation for the next phase of its bull market. He shares, as much as we're expecting Bitcoin to possibly go sideways for a little while and possibly go to lower price ranges than where we're at now, we believe that this is a cycle midpoint. Point. Cycle midpoint is where, generally speaking, you have a rally in this case. You set a pretty significant top for the next weeks or months. And then after that, you start to continue that cycle and really set in an official market top for the overall cycle. Merton also shares some key fundamental and technical reasons why he believes that the top for Bitcoin is not yet in. He goes on to share, I don't believe, guys, that in this era of massive money printing and also as crypto generally grows as a new alternative asset class, that Bitcoin 65,000 would be the top. I don't think a simple, a little over 3x from the all-time highs back in 2017 is enough for this cycle. In previous cycles, we've seen much larger gains from the previous 2013 high to here in 2017. We made a 1,500% leap up. Just to compare it here, this is the market peak. We've only got up about 236%. I agree. I feel this is the midway point for this bull market. I do not feel this is a bear market as some analysts are predicting. I feel this is the halfway point and this bull run is just getting started. There's nothing out of the ordinary for a healthy market correction. We've seen it in the past. I covered this in greater detail in yesterday's episode. And to watch this entire video with Nicholas Merton, along with his predictions, be sure to check out the show notes below the video in the description. And before I break down our final story of the day, Plan B, the creator of the Bitcoin stock, the flow model, doubles down on his huge Bitcoin price prediction, despite the recent collapse to $30,000. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 790 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsjest.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News. Yes. And for those of you on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link. Request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. And for those of you on TikTok, be sure to follow me there. All right. Now let's break down our final story of the day. The crypto analyst known for first applying the stock to flow model to Bitcoin is undeterred by the top crypto's brutal price action. That's right. Bitcoin tracker Plan B is sharing his thoughts on the asset's trajectory after Bitcoin dipped roughly $8,000 in a span of one hour this week. In fact, we dipped 
$10,000 and then recover 10,000 in a single day. And I tell people it's only a matter of time before we witness $100,000 dips and regains within the same day. I'm just saying it's destiny. The stock to flow traditionally used to track the performance of commodities like precious metals compares an asset's price to its available supply. Plan B has amassed a strong following with the stunning accuracy of the stock to flow and stock to flow X model, a variation of the stock to flow, which also takes into account gold and silver's performance to reach a price estimation for Bitcoin. And a new tweet, Plan B reiterates his view regarding where we are in the current bull cycle, asserting that Bitcoin is only a few months into its bull run, sharing his recent tweet right here. Just to be clear, I do not think $60,000 was the top. Far from it, because I do not see this kind of transactions that normally happen after an all-time high, which are signified by the red dots. In fact, I think we are just a couple of months out of the bear market, which is the blue dots. And yes, this on-chain view fits stock to flow X model, which does predict a $288,000 Bitcoin price before the end of this year. Now, the analyst issues his reminder as he senses traders and investors are losing sights on Bitcoin's long-term trajectory amid concerns over Bitcoin's energy consumption propagated most recently by Tesla CEO Elon Musk quoting plan B here. I also see a lot of people ignoring the four year having cycle and being distracted by energy FUD, which we all know is nothing more than fear, uncertainty and doubt or better, faster and cheaper altcoins. Ultimately, plan B stock to flow model shows Bitcoin reaching $100,000 and his stock to flow model also has Bitcoin jump in past $288,000 before the next bear market hits and his stock to flow X model predicts a $288,000 Bitcoin price before the end of this year. Let me know if you agree or disagree with stock the flow or stock the flow x in the comments right down below and one of plan b's followers questions whether plan b's model could be inaccurate not because they appear to believe that bitcoin will not submit the six-figure mark but because inflation may help bitcoin avoid a bear market altogether checking out his tweet here i know your model has fairly explained bitcoin price in the last two cycles but why do we expect these to keep happening i cannot see a bear market especially in the macro scenario of increased inflation and interest rates if bitcoin is a store of value that will attract more investors and plan B responded, greed and fear are here to stay. Inflation will not eliminate fear. And he responded, thanks to sharing your view. Fear ultimately benefits store value assets. This is Bitcoin's opportunity to stand and claim digital gold status. Macro trends will disrupt the digital asset space in the next 12 months. So there you have it. Now for a quick recap, what I covered with you right here in today's show, Bitcoin bull market is still halfway after $30,000 Bitcoin price destroys leverage. And I shared the latest market updates from statistician. Willie Wu, also as William Clemente points out, goodbye leverage as leverage traders got absolutely wrecked just recently. And as Mira Cristanto points out, that cleanse set Bitcoin up for $100,000, funding rates largely reset, the shakeout before the breakout, let's go BTC. Also in today's show, I shared Vitalik Buterin says crypto is in a bubble and that Bitcoin may get left behind due to its power usage. He also says there's a possibility that Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin in the future. Also in today's show, we discussed is the Bitcoin top in as crypto analyst Nicholas Merton predicts Bitcoin's long-term trajectory. Also in today's show, I shared Plan B, the creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model, doubling down on his huge Bitcoin price prediction despite the recent collapse to $30,000. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this. And real quick before I go, I want to give a special shout out to BlockFi, where you can put your crypto to work and earn a 5% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin and literally have your Satoshis work for you. You can also earn a 10% APY on stable coins and their other flagship product is crypto back loans. You ever wonder how can I access fiat liquidity without selling my precious crypto? Well, look no further because with BlockFi, you can get an interest rate as low as 4.5% and you can keep your precious crypto. They also have a special promo running right now where you can receive up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $100 or more. To take advantage of this, use my referral link in the description right down below. Once you click it, it'll take you here. You'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below. Let's start stacking those stats, yo. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.